My name is Ahmed. I tell you about the first volcano to the moon and the first people who put their feet on the, the moon. The name of, of that mission was Apollo 11. The main astronaut's mission were Neil Amerson was the commander. Michael Collins was commander module pilot that would, that would drive the the Saturn V rocket. And so when E. Angel Jr. Luna was a model pilot that stayed inside and shot the rocket back to Earth. and it launched into space on July 16, 1969 at 9.32 a.m. That was more than a year before my dad was born. The rocket launched in Kennedy Space Center, Florida. The rocket consists of three pieces. The first piece splits from the rocket away all of the use of fuel called the first stage separation. The rocket shooting to from space is coming to deep space. It just exploded its first part. It still has two more parts to go. The other two main pieces are the command module. Lunar module of the command module are the pilot's drive. Lunar rocket. module is a small, the small spaceship that pilots will go down to the moon and back to the command module. This is the moon, how the Earth looks on the moon. You can see actually one bump or a few bumps from there, and you can see Earth like half of the moon. From the moon, you can see Earth like the moon. has clouds that, that are swirling. You can only see half of the, the Earth because because it's only half of the moon. Now we're going to see how they stick your nose, otherwise they're going to fly with no gravity. Okay, for those of you that don't know, this is where we uh, lock most of our data for each of the uh, land maneuvers. And uh, we have another card like this, this the timeline book, that uh, we place down on the table in front of the uh, data and display keyboard. And it's on this timeline that we have all our procedures we obviously uh, have to hold these in place in zero G, so we make use of the Velcro patches on the back and on the table. So we can attach these down here. And then we just turn the pages over when we go to new sequences in our uh, timeline of procedures. Now we're going to see a movie how they make a sandwich in the spaceship. That we've discovered that uh, it is quite easy to draw a very familiar with. Now we're going to see a piece of cat. When you spin it, it, and then you touch on the side like that, you'll rotate and go like this. Look at that way. I'd like to demonstrate uh, briefly uh, how easy it is to explain the action of a gyroscope. Uh, if I spin this can, we know that uh, according to the uh, equations of uh, uh, motion that we would expect that if once this is given a spin about and has a spin axis in this direction, if we give it a particular torque, and if I, I'll do this by pushing my hands against it in this fashion once it's spinning, by the equations we can predict that as I put this torque on it, it will in fact rotate this direction. Let's see how well this works out. Did as I apply the torque this way, it rotated this way. Now we're going to see water, uh, water spoon going without gravity. I'll just turn this one over and uh, get rid of the water and start all over again, okay? Okay. <laughs> And you can see up here, we don't know where over is. Uh, one uh, 
up is as good as another. That really is water, though, I'll show you. Now we're going to see the little module about to land. It's rotating and rotating it round and around and around, getting ready to land, which is not really landing right now. This is how the see the moon when they're still coming from the spaceship. It's blue, blue, blue version of seeing. Roger, we're seeing Blue Hill now. And the next crater coming into the bottom. That's Duke Island right there, and to the left. The uh, crater, the largest of the crater near the center of the picture right now is Maskelon W. This is a position check during descent at uh, about 3 minutes and 39 seconds, and it's our downrange position check and crossrange position check prior to uh, yawing over face up uh, to acquire the landing radar. At this point, uh, we would be unable to see the surface below us until uh, getting very near the landing area. The landing happened on the moon on July 20, 1969 at 4.18 p.m. So the trip to the moon took a until more than four days. The landing was in place on the moon called the Sea of the Quality. Tranquility. Tranquility. On July 20, at 10.56 p.m., the rocket commander Neil Armstrong came, became the first man in the whole world to put his foot on the moon. He then became very happy and started jumping around the low gravity on the moon. And he said, this is one small step for a man, but a giant leap for a mankind. The American commander Edwin Elgin came down the second to the moon. About 20 minutes after Neil Armstrong, now they're putting the flag down. Which flag? After they took big jumps around the moon, then they put the American flag back. They put the American flag down. They're able to walk on the moon with this suit, the, this heavy suit, because because they have no gravity. They not spent around two and a half hours on the moon. They collected lots of stuff from the moon, so the scientists back at Earth could. Examine it. The astronauts launched back from the moon on July 21, 1969, 1.54 p.m. They spent a little less than one day on the moon. Hold, no hotels asleep on the moon, so they quickly left. Now you'll see like a fireball going back to Earth. It's falling back to Earth in the same like a fireball. But then it's going to turn on its parachute after a while. They returned a capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24, 1969, at 12.50 p.m. The total mission was 8 dates and 3 hours and 18 minutes. Now there's a helicopter dropping a lifeboat for them to go sit on so they can carry it up back to the helicopter. Now they're getting out of the thing. There's a big door that you're seeing right now. And also has a lifeboat for the spaceship to hold and some parachute balls. And so now they're going in the lifeboat. And one person is sinking in the water and one person is going back up to the, to the helicopter in a tiny thing. And the helicopter is flying just above the command module. You can see the balls squished together. Those are just parachutes. And then now they're in boats. I don't know why, but they're getting back the command module. This is astronauts coming out of the the helicopter, walking and walking. They're in the quarantine, so they so they have no jerks. So they make sure they have no jerks. I hope you enjoy this movie. This is Ahmed from Hope Your News Network, and the battery's down right now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Hey Bugs, this is Abbott and I'm the news reporter of Humor News Network H N N period. <laughs> the movie is over. That's yeah. all Bugs. And it's over and over and this is the Hoover Network News. Bye bye. The first people went to the moon. Bye bye.